In this short screencast, we're just going to download a firmware file and record it to an SD card in order to update our open source scan converter. To do this, we're going to need three things, a SD card, the firmware file, and some software to write the firmware to the SD card. In Windows, the easiest way to do this is to use the Win32 Disk Imager software. You can get this from SourceForge here. Just click on the download button here and I'll have the links in the notes too. So just click the download button and go through the usual install process. I'll assume you know how to do that. So once that's done, we need the actual firmware file. You could get the link to that from the wiki page. So head on over to junkerhq.net slash xrgb and do a search for OSSC and you'll get to the OSSC wiki page. Now scroll right to the bottom and the links for firmware images are here, so click that. Now you can just click here and choose the latest firmware file or you can choose any of the old firmwares if you need to. So I'll just click on the latest one and click on save. OK. And in most browsers that will just download to the downloads folder. So now we'll go ahead and launch Win32 Disk Imager. Just by searching for it. And it needs admin, so just click on yes or enter your password if you need to. And before you go any further, you're going to want to check that you have the right device selected here under device. Now, usually the software will only let you select USB devices, but it never hurts to check. So I'll go ahead and open this PC. And yep, the SD card is drive letter G. So I know that's OK. So now I need to click on this little blue folder here and navigate to my downloads folder. This PC downloads. Before we can select the right file, we need to switch to viewing all files here. So I'll click that. And now we can see the firmware file that I downloaded. So I'll click on that and click open. Now all we need to do is click on right and then yes and that's it just click on OK and you can now remove your micro SD card and take it to the OSSC. If you get a message saying access denied when trying to write the firmware file the first thing you need to do is close any software that may be accessing the SD card. Pause your antivirus package and close any explorer windows. If all else fails, try a different PC. Okay, so let's finish off the firmware updating process. And I've got the micro SD card here. Now it needs to go this way up. That's the way with the little gold contacts showing like this. And then you need to put it into the SD slot, which is there, just to the left of the LCD. So just carefully pop it in there. Now it doesn't click into place or anything, you just push it till it won't go anymore and that's it. Alright, so now you need to power on the open source scan converter and using the remote, press the menu button and navigate to firmware update. Then press left or right and it will tell you the version of the firmware that's on the card and to update you just press 1 on the remote and then wait. And that's it, you just have to restart the unit and the firmware revision is shown on the LCD like that. And that's it, your firmware is updated.